Hi and welcome to session 20 in the 12 week plan for successful swimming in triathlon. Today's session is entitled Hard Starts and Finishes. Our warm up today is for 100 meter swims done with 15 seconds rest in between each and we're going to slowly but surely build the speed over those four 100s. Once again please do not start fast and work your way to slow. We want to start slow and work your way to fast. We're then going to put our fins on for a set of kicks and drills. We're going to do four fifties off of one fifteen, kicking on your side, changing by breath. Now please remember we want to divorce the movement of our head from the movement of our body. Hugely important in triathlon that you can follow your head where it's going and not go all over the place. So remember that. That's the main purpose of this drill, to be on your side, rotating, and to keep your head completely divorced from the movement of your body. We're now going to do 950s off one minute. And this is a tighter time than we've chosen before, so we're just reducing your rest a touch. We're going to go three single arm with kickboard, three touch head drill, and three finger drag with really nice control in a near catch up position. Now, we haven't done the touch head drill very much, so I'm going to go to the computer and going to explain it again. The touch head drill is another one of those drills that's really good at relaxing the arm as it comes forward. Because what we want to do is with every single stroke, you keep your hand on the surface, come forward, touch the front of your head, go down touch the front of your head. Now if you notice I've got a very high elbow there and that's what you want. A lot of people swing round and effectively salute. We're not saluting because that lowers the arm as you can see. We're trying to bring the arm high up, front of the head, front of the head and off. And that the leading hand stays on the surface until this hand has touched and left the head. Touch, leave the head. So you can see there's, there's lots of aspects to this drill that are really good. It keeps the hand on the surface until that arm has passed the shoulder and then you can reach for the catch. So do this controlled. It may take a little while to get used to but it's well worth persevering because it's a really good drill for relaxation and for ensuring you reach for the catch at the right time. We're now going to do a series of swims with our fins off. We're going to do a 100, a 200, a 300, a 400 and a 600 metre swim. And what we're trying to do here is play with speed. So either we're trying to start hard or finish hard. Now the 100 metre is done off 2 minutes and the 200 metre is done off of 3.45. And with both of those what we're going to do is we're going to swim the first one a hard 100. In the second one we're going to go a hard 100 then try and get ourselves back to our triathlon race pace. In the 300 and the 400 we're going to go 200 metres steady, then 300 meters steady, and the last 100 meter is actually going to be hard. So we're actually practicing today either starting a race hard or finishing it hard. Hugely important if you're actually in that washing machine effect of starts and when you want to pass some people to get into transition before them. The 600 meter swim, which is done on 11 minutes, is done just as a steady race paced swim. Finally, we have a 150 meter swim down, slowly but surely reducing your pace and reducing your heart rate with it. So session 20 has been a total of 2,800 meters. That's the maximum you've done in any individual session. Well done, you've come a long way from the beginning.